beautiful people. I am Brandy Amara Sky, and welcome to my channel. Um, so if you are new to my world, uh, just so you know, I live smack dab in the middle of Dallas, so you will probably hear some airplanes, and you might hear an ambulance or two, and most definitely you'll probably see an appearance, guest appearance, by my two lovely fur babies, Simon the Shih Tzu, and Zen the Lab Golden Retriever Mix. So just so you know, there's a possibility that there is going to be some guest appearances while we are in this convo together. So today I wanted to just kind of talk a little bit about what it means to be productive as a creative entrepreneur, as a writer, as anybody who is trying to make a living off their art. And so for me and a lot of my clients, there are about four things that I see them constantly slamming up against. And those four things are money and resources, always a big one, time, which we are gonna be talking about in this video, consistency and follow through. Um, the problem sometimes is getting started, but majority of the time, if you're like me, it's that follow through and that consistency that I really need to hone in on that skill of finishing what I started. Fourth and final thing is mindset. So a lot of it for me in the past and currently is focusing and getting my mindset clear and concise in a way that is gonna serve me the most. And so we're gonna talk about each of those four things in videos that are coming up, but for this week, I wanna focus on the time aspect as creative entrepreneurs and how do we find the time in, the, in our busy lives and days to create, to write, to do the things that we feel called to do. And so this video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm actually going to cut to a real, actual one-on-one -on -one coaching that I did with a client. And that's gonna be edited a little bit for you know, client privacy and, and to take out some of the identifying, perhaps identifying things. But the reason why I wanted to share this video with you and, and this one in particular with this client was because I want you to experience that kind of transformation that this client did as well. And so because I want to give you the very best tools and resources in this channel, in my work, in my books, in you know my one-on-one -on -one work, everything, I wanna give you everything that I've got to help you create because the world needs more diverse artists to create their fucking art. So, I'm gonna get ready to cut into this one-on-one -on -one client um, consultation and video coaching session. And in it, I talk about a time tracker exercise that I'm going to link to in the video below. So make sure you download that. So without further ado, here I am talking about time and the time tracker. I am a bitch and a as close to an absolutist as I will ever become when it when it comes to this idea of time. I really believe that we make time for the shit that really fucking matters. If Candace didn't matter, I wouldn't make fucking time for her. If Simon didn't matter, I wouldn't make time for him. If building my business and making, you know, coaching you or coaching other people or writing didn't matter, if I didn't give, then I, it wouldn't happen. It would be one of those things that falls to the wayside. The shit that gets done is the shit that matters most to us. And regardless of whether or not we have 10 minutes a day, if we have 10 hours a day, we find the time, we make the time to get the shit done that matters. And so when I heard, time is one of those trigger words for me. And so when I heard you say, I don't feel like I have enough time, the first thing that goes into my head when I hear someone say this is, well, how much does this really matter to this person then? Because time is one of those, time is the only resource that you will never get back. And where we, where we focus, where we focus energetically on is in our and where we focus our time on is what's going to grow and expand. And, you know, I get it. You're going through a really hard training. But guess what? People have fucking written 
you know, Harry Potter in 20 minutes a day sitting at a coffee shop in between a full day job. Like, people have done this fucking work before, so this is not, it's not like I'm asking you or me to reinvent the wheel, and this is something that I tell myself all the time. Anytime I feel like, oh my God, I'm too fucking busy. I'm not asking myself or you to reinvent the wheel. I'm just asking you to find the time for the stuff that really matters. I'm actually gonna have to sit and do some ugly work that isn't gonna be fun. It's not gonna be fuzzy. It's not gonna feel good because guess what? Change doesn't always feel good. It fucking sucks. I was telling Candace this when I was doing my storytelling class um, at the Dallas Comedy House. Like, I was uncomfortable every fucking step of the way. I was resistant every step of the way. I didn't want to go to class. I didn't want to stand up. I was making every excuse in the book. And I, when I came home, I didn't want to do my homework. I didn't want to write it because it was just like, that meant that it was real and that I would have to change these behaviors and this idea of what I have and what I don't have. And this is why people don't change. This is why people stay where they are and stuck because this shit fucking is uncomfortable and it is not all warm fuzzy rainbows transformative poofs of magic and and unicorns and epiphanies it's it's not like that it's it's real dirty murky work and so the first practice and if you do nothing else this is the one that I want you to concentrate on because it's the one that's going to make the biggest change for you because I know it did for me I'm going to ask you for three days to track your time now this is one of those exercises that's going to feel like a to-do thing but guess what sometimes you know growth and self-help is a fucking to-do list and this is one of those times and so what that basically means is, and, and you can do it one or two ways. I suggest one more strongly than the other since this is your first time doing it. When I first did this exercise um, in 2015, I tracked two days during the week and one weekend. And I basically created a spreadsheet and I'm going to create it for you and it's going to be in our Slack because I don't want that to be a deterrent to be like, I've got to create this spreadsheet or I got to create this, so I'm just not going to do it. Fuck it. But I'm going to create one for you. You can use that. You can use your journal. I don't care. I just want you to have a space already done so you don't have to worry about it. You can print it out, handwrite it, put it in your journal. I don't care. I want you to track your time um, in 15-minute uh, increments. So what that means is... Every 15 minutes, I want you to write what you're doing. Now, here's the exception. Let's say you're going in for energy work at 2.15 and you don't get out till 3.15. That's fine, just block 2.15 to 3.15 energy work. And that way it's not, it's not like a check-in, especially when you're doing bulk things, what this is really, what I'm really wanting you to focus on is those time periods that you have, you know, on your own. So you get out of this training at, let's just say, 5 o'clock. So what, you know, so you're training, you know, from 9 to 5, but within that training, you get breaks. So what, you know, say you got a break at 10 o'clock, what for 15 minutes? What did you do from 10 to 10, 15? Check Facebook, log into Instagram. I want you to track those little bits of time in between the bigger scope of, of what you're doing, of, of your training or whatever. And then I really want you to focus on the time that happens when you get home, you know, but after you, you get back from five, you know, whatever, say five o'clock until you go to sleep and track that every 15 minutes. Because just because I say I'm gonna write for an hour doesn't mean that I sit at my computer and write for an hour. No, that means that for 15 minutes, I'm staring out the window going, what the fuck am I gonna write about? Another five minutes, I'm checking Facebook because that just sounds so much easier than actually getting ideas and putting them out on paper. And then, you know, then maybe I'll write like a word for like, 10 minutes and then I go back and check my emails so these clunks of time that we think that we're spending on something really isn't always fully focused in that area this is going to help clarify for yourself and for me where what 
where exactly is all your time going that you feel like you're just, it's too overwhelming. And when I first did this, I was like completely blown away. And I, I'm actually going to take, um, because I went real, um, <laughs> OCD with it because I was really serious because I kept saying to myself, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time, but I'm like, we all have the same hours, you know, in a day as Beyonce and people make this shit happen all the time. What is it that they do differently that I'm not doing? And that's the headspace that I need for you to be in. People do this all the fucking time. Single mothers have three jobs, raise, you know, five kids, and still have time to take them out and take them to school and get them. This shit can be done, right? And so that's where I want you to focus on. So I'm going to take you, I'm going to take some snapshots of what, um, mine look like so you can kind of see and I highlighted it like I went really crazy but just so you can see that I have done this too I'm not asking you and nor will I ever ask you to do anything that I personally haven't done myself and and as as painful as an experience that it may be it might not like I actually had fun doing it I made it into a game I set a timer on my phone every 15 minutes I was like boop 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 and I wrote it down so I want you to do that. That's the biggest thing. If nothing else, I just want you to focus on that. I hope that you enjoyed that real moment in my life and in a client's life. And I really hope that you glean some really important and solid things about time. And the one thing that I really want you to take away from this video is what you are going to learn about yourself and about how you use your time. And that tool that is linked in the video description below is that resource to help you do that. I cannot tell you how life-changing it was when I sat down and I literally saw where my time was going. And that is probably the biggest transformative work that I've done when it comes to creating and finding the time for my creative work. And so I really want you to use this free tool and resource, resource and find out where your time is going. Um, I do this exercise probably once every two or three months just so I can make sure that I am staying aligned with what I want to do and how I want to use my time. So if you found this useful, if you like this video, if you hate this video, like, comment, subscribe to this channel. I love you all so, so much. And I'm so grateful that you are here sharing your art, sharing yourself and making this world a more diverse and beautiful place with your work. I love you guys.